Sing along with the Reavers. Iowa Western dancing after winning its fifth graphic edge bowl in six tries. Sam Miller, Luke Choll. Spring practice 2018. Is this a word? Let's go! Big Blue goes toe to toe, kicking off another sunrise wake up call. Our expectations are always high, you know, and um, but it's a whole new team as well, you know, and that's always the biggest thing. And you know, the returning guys, they know know what the expectations are. Newer guys, we got to get them into that what, to to work to to fit our expectations. He gets wider on me. The expectations start with the O line. The Reavers have to replace six frontline starters. We got a lot of new guys, obviously, uh, a lot of young guys. Uh, only two guys came back from last year, so a lot of guys are learning new plays. Uh, but it's going well. I think our practices are, are getting a lot better than they were at the beginning of the spring ball. NJCAA Offensive Player of the Year quarterback Kai Loxley did not begin the 2017 season as the starter. Redshirt sophomore QB Kurt Walding did and hopes to do so again. I just learned that every quarterback should play at a high level and what separates the great quarterbacks from the average quarterbacks is who plays well when they're not playing well. How do you respond to adversity? And that's just something that, that's just a good lesson I took away from last year. I think from perimeter we got some skill guys. We have as many as we've ever had returning from last year, you know, with, with Nick Singleton and, and uh, um, Mike Hill who played and, and had a bunch of catches. And, um, you know, I don't remember the last time we had two that had as many catches returning. What do you bring to the table? I definitely, my quickness, my, my athleticism, my awareness of just things being around me. I'm very light on my feet. And uh, I think I'm really fast, so not many people can stay with me, especially in a one-on-one -on -one battle. We're going to punch you in the oh. face, yeah. Four starters return to battle on the O Show, five on the D side. The dark side is led by defensive ends Chester Graves and fellow <laughs> sophomore Malcolm Lee. We have as good a defensive line. I mean, so the, sometimes the struggles offensively right. is not because we're not that good. It's because we're pretty darn good on the D line, you know. Um, four guys that played you know, significant minutes returning. I'm usually kind of a guy that if you don't get it, I'm not going to help you. That's not my problem, but uh, I think coming back, I, sh I need to take that, that kind of responsibility to myself and try to help other players because uh, at the end of the day, if everybody else on the team improves, then we have a better chance of winning. Get off medium. I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I think we're more talented in the secondary than we were a year ago. Um, we potentially can be as talented at backer and we're more talented on the d -line. We're 97% uh, attendance rate, you know, from guys. And, and some of the guys who broke that 3% are no longer with us, you know, so they, they didn't make it through winter conditioning. So I think when you have that and you're getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning or 445 when we started two days a week, um, you know, there's, there's some buy-in you know, from them and, and they understand that when you put in that time, you expect results. And, and when you're up that early just with those guys and working out and running and doing those things, you're going to build some chemistry. It's a great day to get back. Well, then, if you don't know, freaking wait, okay, coach, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I feel like the expectations are even higher this year based on everything that's happened. What say you? Yeah, I mean, you know, shoot, as, as a coach, uh, you're going to make your expectations higher every single year. I mean, we hold ourselves to that. Shoot, we like that. If, it, if we didn't have those high expectations, um, you know, we'd be on the other end of it, and uh, I don't want to be there. 78 guys look to get there, make an impression, before fall camp kicks off in early August. Now, Iowa Western has become one of the standards for success in the JUCO football world. It's becoming the Reavers' world and all the rest just living it. <laughs> <laughs>